Hello everyone, welcome to another anatomy tutorial. Where this time I am going to be talking about the gross feature of mandibular. The content structure of the mandible consists of horizontal, mandible, body, ramus, foramina, nerves, and function. The body and the rami meet on each side at the angle of the mandible. The mandible located inferiorly in the facial skeleton is the largest and strongest bone of the face. It forms the lower jaw and acts as a receptacle for the lower teeth. It also articulates on either side with the temporal bone, forming the temporomandibular joint. This article we will look at the anatomy and clinical importance of the mandible. In anatomy, the mandible lower jaw or jaw bone is the largest strongest and lowest bone in the human facial skeleton it forms the lower jaw the the lower jaw and holds the lower teeth in place the mandible side beneath the maxilla it is the only movable bone of the skull it is connected to the temporal bone by the temporomandibular joint the body of the mandible is curved and the front part or uh, the, the the front part gives structure to the chain it has two surfaces and two borders from the outside the mandible is marked in the midline by a faint ridge indicating the mandibular symphysis the line of junction of the two pieces of which the bone is composed at an early period of life this ridge divides below and encloses a triangular eminence the mental protuberance the base of the difference the difference in the center but raise on either side to form the mental tubercle on either side on the same uh, on the symphysis just below the incisor teeth is a differentiation the incisio fossa which give origin to the mental to the mentalis and the small portion of orbicularis aureus below the second premolar to tooth on either side midway between the upper and lower border of the body as the mental foramen for the for the for the passage of the mental vessel and nerves running backward and upward from each mental tubercle is a faint ridge the oblique line which is continuous with the anterior border of the ramus at effort attachment to the depressor depressor labii inferioris and depressor inguli aureus the platysma is attached below it the ramus the ramus of the human mandible has four sides two surface four borders and two processes on the outside the ramus is flat and marked by the oblique ridge at its lower part it give attachment throughout nearly the whole the whole of it extend to the mastar's muscle and the inside at the center there is the oblique mandibular foramen for the entrance of the inferior alveolar vessel and nerves The margin of this opening is irregular at present in at present in front of prominent ridge surmounted by a sharp spine the lingula the lingula of the mandible which give attachment to the spino the spino mandibular ligament at its lower and back part of the nose from which the mylohyoid grow runs obliquely downward and forward and lodge the mylohyoid vessel and nerves behind this grow is a rough surface for the insertion of the medial uh, thyroid muscle and the mandibular uh, and the mandibular canal runs obliquely downward and forward in the ramus and then horizontally forward in the body where it is placed under the alveoli and communicate with them by small opening on arriving at the incisor teeth a turn back to communicate with the mental foramen giving off two small canal which runs to the cavity containing the incisor teeth and this posterior to third of the bone the canal is situated near the internal surface of the mandible and and the anterior third near at external surface it contains the inferior alveolar, alveolar vessel and nerves from which branch or distributed to the teeth Interior view of the mandible showing the approximate location of the mental foramina. The mandible has two main holes, foramina, found on both its right and left side. The mandible foramen is above the mandibular angle and the medial of each ramus. The mental foramen 
side on e either side of the mental protuberance chain on the body of the mandible usually inferior to the abscess of the mandibular first and second free molars as mandibular growth proceed in young children the mental foramen alters and direction of its opening from anterior to posterior superior to posterior superior the mental foramen allows the entrance of the mental nerves and blood vessels into the mandibular canal muscle attachment the mandible serve as the attachment point for the various muscles including the strong muscle of mastication mandibular body external uh, mandibular body external and lateral surface mentalis buccinator platysma depressor labii inferior and depressor anguli aureus internal medial surface genioglossus geniohyoid mylohyoid and digastric mandibular rami mandibular rami masseter temporalis and medial pterygoid and lateral pterygoid the temporalis muscle attached to the coronoid process and the mastoris attached to the rami the lateral pterygoid insertion into the neck of the mandible and the medial and the medial sorry and the medial pterygoid inserts into the ramus near to the angle of the mandible so the mandibular nerves the inferior alveolar nerves a branch of the mandibular nerves a major division of the trigeminal nerves enters the mandibular foramen and runs forward in the mandibular canal supplying sensation to the teeth at the mental foramen the nerves divides into two terminal branches incisio and mental nerves the incisio nerves runs forward in the mandible and the supply the anterior teeth so the function of uh, so the function of the mandible at form the lower jaw and hold the lower teeth in place the mandible articulate with the left and right temporal bone and the temporomandibular joint we have a uh, condylar process condylar we have co coronoid process and condylar process co condylar process uh, superior offer and posterior projection from the ramus which make the temporomandibular joint with the temporal bone coronoid process coronoid process superior and anterior projections from the ramus this pro, this provide attachment to the temporalis muscle teeth side in the upper part of the body of the mandible the front most part of the teeth is more nerve and hold front teeth the back part hold wider and flatter teeth primarily for the chewing food these teeth also often have white and sometimes deep grow on the surface so this video is not over yet continue watching for more video thank you